Now in this section, we're gonna tackle payroll codes. Payroll codes are especially important for those companies that are syncing their LMN time data with QuickBooks. Now it also is important for those who are using the Excel export to sync their time data with other payroll applications, but we're gonna deal specifically with QuickBooks because that's where it's most important. Now payroll codes is a big topic. There's another video dedicated to this in the QuickBooks sync section. And that video will actually have far more detail on actually setting up your payroll codes in QuickBooks. But for now, we'll give you enough information in this video to be dangerous. And for those of you who want more information on setting these up and how to set them up in QuickBooks, we'd refer to you to the QuickBooks sync videos where we'll take this on in much more detail. But for now, let's have a look. So to set up your payroll codes in Element Time, we're gonna to go to settings and then over off to the left here, payroll codes. Payroll codes are set up quite easily by going down to the bottom here and setting add payroll code. Here you'd put in the name of your payroll code. It doesn't have to match your QuickBooks name exactly. It probably should, it's easier for you to understand. But if it's off by a bit, you'll be able to match it to QuickBooks no matter what the names are. Now payroll ID isn't really important for those who are uh, using QuickBooks. But if you're using an external system, maybe another payroll application, Payroll ID is an ID for the code that come out on some export reports so that you can link the payroll code not by name, but by ID number to an external payroll system. So for those of you using QuickBooks or not using uh, wage exports at all, don't worry about these numbers. But for those who are trying to import it into other systems, that's what's that there for. So once you put your name in and you hit OK, you'll have a list of payroll codes here. I have one here called Field Wages. What do payroll codes do? Well, payroll codes allow you to ensure that employees get paid the correct rate of pay for the work that they're performing. So for instance, for my field wages, I might have three payroll codes. One would be field wages, and that's for regular time. The other would be field wages for overtime. And I might also have a third payroll code called field wages, and that's where people who are on salary get set up. To better understand why or how that's set up, let's dive into QuickBooks for a second. So here I am in QuickBooks, and I'm gonna open a person here called Larry Labor. If I go to Larry Labor under the payroll information, this is where I'd set up Larry Labor's payroll codes. This is what tells QuickBooks that when Larry Labor is doing hourly work, he gets paid $15 an hour. And when he's doing overtime work, he gets paid $22.50 an hour. So what LMN does is LMN doesn't even know the rates of pay for each employee, nor does it know the taxes or anything. All LMN knows when, it, when Larry Labor clocks his time in and out, it knows because of the job he's working on and because of the overtime rules you set up, whether we should be paying Larry Labor field wages or field wages overtime. When we export that payroll code to QuickBooks, QuickBooks takes those hours and then looks at these rates and says, okay, for hourly field, Larry Labor gets $15 an hour or $22.50 an hour. So as an example, why would I have more than three payroll codes? Why do I have so many here? Well, two reasons. One is you can configure payroll codes to go into different accounts. So if I wanted to track uh, install wages to one account in your chart of accounts and maintenance wages to a different chart of account, well, I could have field wages install and field wages maintenance. Larry, could then have hourly field install and hourly field maintenance set up with his rates of pay. They could be the same rates of pay, they could be different, that's up to you. A good example is snow. Lots of companies want to pay high wages when employees work at snow. So what I can do here is I can set up payroll codes for snow wages. So I've got the exact same structure I had for field wages. It's just field wages overtime and regular and salary, and I have the same thing for snow. So regular overtime and salary. If I go back to Larry Labor, you can see here I've only configured hourly field and hourly overtime. Uh, Larry's not salary, so there was no need to set up the salary code. If Larry Labor was going to work in snow, and if I wanted to pay him a different wage for snow, then I would do this. I would set up in QuickBooks a payroll code for snow, and then what I'm going to do is pick his hourly snow code. And let's say when Larry's doing snow work, he gets paid $19 an hour. We'll just set that up right there. Now I'll also need one for hourly snow overtime. So I add that. And QuickBooks is smart enough to automatically calculate your overtime for you. So at time and a half that. And now Larry Labor has two rates of pay or actually four rates of pay. 
two for uh, regular time or two for regular work and two for snow work. And it's a regular and an overtime code. So what's going to happen in LMN is when Larry Labor's working on just a regular job, he's going to get paid his $15 an hour or $22.50. It's over time. If Larry Labor's working on a snow job, it's going to automatically export the rate of pay as hourly snow or hourly overtime snow. And Larry will get paid a different rate of pay for that job type. So going back now to the payroll codes, here I would set up the different payroll codes that I need to track. And then what we can do in the next video as job types is we can set up certain jobs to use certain types. Field wages will be the type that's normally associated to every job. But if I wanted to pay a different rate of pay for certain jobs, and that could be snow jobs, could be prevailing wage or union jobs, I can set up a job type that uses a different set of payroll codes as its default. Now your company standard payroll codes, which are typically just your field wages, right up here in the payroll options, default payroll codes, that's where you're gonna set that up. So that'll be the default that gets added to all jobs. But like I said, in the next video, we're gonna look at setting up job site types and you can set up, if you want, specialized payroll codes for job types so that employees can get paid a different rate of pay when they work on those job types. For more on that, tune into the job types video. That's it for this section. Payroll codes are actually a little more complicated than we probably covered here. There's lots more information on payroll codes in the QuickBooks Sync videos. We'll go into detail and we'll show you how to actually set those codes up. But if you still have questions, be sure to reach out to us. It's a really important concept to get right. It's not that tricky once you get your head around it, but it's tricky if you haven't used them before. So use us at the live chat. You can email us at advice at goelemen.com or if you like to get your own help, Take a look around goelmn.com slash help. That's our help center. And you can search for and look for questions about payroll codes there. Thanks for watching.